was a strong piece of performance at the end yeah. for the world a bit. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, it's something that we've not uh, been doing recently. Um, you know, we've chucked away a few leads, but today I thought we, you know, we defended well, um, especially down to 10 men. You know, that's what it takes to get three points in this league. And, you know, if we want to go far, then we've got to do that more often. Does it play on your mind a little bit when you've lost leads in the past in that situation? Um, yeah, it does to an extent, but sort of when you're in the game, you sort of just focused on um, your job. But no, it definitely does cross your mind. But, you know, like today, um, hopefully that can, you know, sort of turn a corner in what, what we've had recently and kick off. When you got the, the second, you must have thought, well, we've got a cushion now. Uh, and you were looking very comfortable at yeah. that stage. Yeah, and no, I thought, um, I did think that, to be honest. Um, but look, red cards happen in football, and, you know, I'm not sure if we've had one this season or not, but I think we just got to, um, everyone's got to dig in. And, you know, the last half an hour, I thought it was a good test of our character. When the manager was in, he spoke about actively doing work to fix that cycle yeah. of heads dropping and, yeah. and you lose a goal. What did he do to address that? Well, I mean, how do you kind of break that that mm. rut that you might be in? Um, well, look, I think he's got to keep um, going at it. And like I said today, um, you know, we, we did manage to hold out and that will be a big confidence boost for the boys. So, um, you know, we can build on that and we can look back and review and, you know, even things that could get better um, for the future and kick off. The goalkeeper had a good game today, yeah. house. How is it playing on the head more? Yeah, look, Marsh is, you know, he's, I don't know how many games he's played, but a hell of a lot. Um, you know, he's a really experienced pro and, um, you know, he's got a lot of time for, for everyone in the team and, you know, his performance has shown that he's, he's quite a calm head at, uh, at the back. How, so, how far can this team go, do you think they are? You're up to fifth now. Yeah. Um, well, we're still pretty early in the season, but I think, you know, under, under the gaffer and his coaching staff and the way he wants to play, I think. You know, a few more tweaks and, you know, like I said today, building on uh, seeing out leads, I think I think we can easily push for the third spot. Mm -hmm. That first goal was from a great well-off yeah, yeah, yeah. She just shows how Tavares well, has come under yeah. the command. Yeah, you know, massive credit to him. Um, I don't think he was in our changing room um, before the new gap had come in. So, you know, fair play to him, he's moved country, he's left, left everyone behind and it, to be fair, right, hats off to me, stuck at it, and you know, now you can see the talent that he's got, and it's coming to show um, week in, week out. You've seen him celebrating with the fans at the end as well. He's come along with it. It shows you what it means to him, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, I feel like the the squad and the fans, you know, they have a, a good connection, and, you know, it's nice for him to do that, and, you know, he, he deserves it. Um, and, you know, hopefully he can just kick on and keep going and, you know, you never know what can happen. It just makes it all the more surprising he wasn't involved earlier. Can yeah. you see what he can yeah. do? Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I'd, you know, when he was in training with us, I didn't actually see too much of him, but since he's come back under the new gaffer and the way he wants to play, um, you know, he looks a totally new player. You mentioned the way the manager wants to play there. Was that yeah. goal there just the epitome of what he's yeah. trying to do? Yeah, definitely playing out from the back. Um, you know, I think it was a ball down the side and then a cut back and Jay finished it. So, no, that is something we work on. And, um just goes to show, you know, the stuff we are doing on the training ground is starting to come out in games. James Lewis in the changing room. Say that again, James Lewis in the changing room. Look, he's all right. He's, um, <laughs> I think because he scored, he's got a bit of leeway, but, <laughs> you know, no, he's still still a young player and he's, you know, look, red cards happen and it's one of them things, but, you know, we've got the win, so that's all that matters. He'll be missing next week against Aberdeen. You've got to do it right back there. Yeah. Yeah. you enjoy that? To be honest, I felt like I was um, on my own at times, um, especially down to 10 men, but look at wherever the manager wants me to play, I'll play. Um, right backs, I've ne never really played there before. Um, but look, if the manager wants me to play there, then that's no problem. Just on your own situation, yeah. in January, do you yeah. have an option to bring you back? Um, I think they do, but to be honest, we have not. Um, them discuss discussions haven't been had yet. Um, and you know it's not something that I'm actively looking to do. You feel yeah. settled here. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. And um, you know I'm enjoying the style of football, and I feel like the team's going in the right direction. Um, so you know if I if I stay here, then you know that's I'm more than that's something that I'd love to do. Thank you very much.